Let's talk about the Salesforce Kanban view. So I'm gonna jump into the Salesforce sandbox. I'm gonna jump onto an opportunities tab. And here I have my list view. Here's this recently viewed list view. I'm going to open it up to an opportunity pipeline. Now you'll see here that this is in the table format. To change this to Kanban is over here in the top right. Click here, you'll see this display as, I can display it as a Kanban, a table, or even a split view. Now in the case of the Kanban view, what I wanna show you is the functionality and what you can customize here. Uh, several people prefer this view because it gives a more visual snapshot of what's happening, what the amounts are in each stage, which is great. You're also able to edit these opportunities as they sit in this view as well without having to click into records. For example, if I want to move this opportunity to a new stage, I can go ahead and click and drag it right into the value proposition stage. I can do the same as I move other records along. I can move them forward, backwards, however I would like. And you'll see the amounts update as these stages are updated as well. You're also able to view right here, or you're able to edit, to delete, or even change the owner from the Kanban view itself. So this is a really helpful for a lot of people, a lot of managers, a lot of reps, who want to view their pipeline in a better sense visually is to use the Kanban view. Now notice here that on the opportunity it defaulted for having stages across the top and kind of summarizing by the amount. This is something that you're also able to customize. For opportunities, this usually makes sense, but notice here that under this cog here, I can go ahead and hit Kanban settings and change how I want to summarize and group. So let's say for example on opportunities, uh, for whatever reason I want to have, uh, we'll say the discount percentage. Um, it'll summarize that. Uh, you'll notice that none of these have discounts, so it's not showing there. Uh, but we'll have here, uh, let's change this back to the amount and let's go ahead and group it by uh, maybe opportunity owner to see you know, who has more uh, dollars in their pipeline, which in this case looks like I'm doing pretty well here on, on Opportunity Pipeline and Courtney's got one opportunity for 15,000. So again, you're able to edit this information on what it is summarized by, what it's even grouped by, um, out of the box, opportunities will have it grouped in this way. But let's say for example, I wanna go to leads and I wanna look at um, my leads, my unread leads. Um, let's go ahead and open up uh, this filter here. And um, I wanna go ahead and look at the Kanban view. Now it is important that Kanban can only process up to 200 records. So if you have over 200 records you're trying to look at, the data won't give you a full picture because again, it, it, it's not able to show all of those records at once. So please keep that in mind. You'll even get a, an error message that pops up if you hit over 200 records. Um, but here I am on the leads. Right now, default, it's going by status here. Uh, I can go ahead again and update this. I could summarize it as well um, by different things, group it by different things. Um, and again, just allows for um, you to, to have a better visualization of what's happening with this type of, of record. And so that's really a recapping of the Kanban view how to switch that over on list views, as well as customize what the records are summar summarized by and grouped by. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.